How's it going everybody? Dotoroy here back with another video for you all today and this time I am very excited because as you can see from the title or maybe even the thumbnail Arc System Works has done it once again. If you aren't familiar with the name Arc System Works or Arxis for short basically they're just a video game company that have made some of my favorite games of all time let alone favorite fighting games of all time which is why if you're a long time viewer of the channel you'll probably see some of their games feature here you know every so often maybe a Dragon Ball Fighters video here or there or, or 350 of them but <laughs> what can I say dude I'm just a big fan of their games but anyway the reason I'm so excited to be talking about them today is because they've actually been showing off a lot of new stuff for their next big fighting game project Guilty Gear Strive you might be wondering why I'm so excited to talk about Guilty Gear Strive now when we've already had a closed beta and seen some gameplay in the past but there's actually multiple reasons for starters they've actually added a whole lot more to the newest build in the videos that we've been seeing now in fact I was just watching a video of some gameplay on game Spot channel where I believe they just casually announced three new super moves that were never shown off before. I was just watching the trailer and they hit me with this. Get a glimpse of brand new moves for all three of them, including Kai Kisuke's dragon install. You watch it blazing to my heart is blazing. If I lose my wings, I don't need a new so yeah, overall, seeing Kai get a dragon install was already sick enough on its own. But of course, the other two characters got new supers as well, including Soul, who I was worried about maybe not having a cool enough super to make up for the fact that Kai got dragon install. But but no, sure enough, Soul came in and just... Yeah, pretty much. That was sick as well. <laughs> The other new super, by the way, was just for Axel, who only has the ability to stop time casually, uh, which looks absolutely broken. You can actually see here at the end of one of the games, the opponent tries to throw out like what? A normal special move, just something to control the space. And sure enough, Axel pauses time, walks in and uh, wins the game. <laughs> so that is really exciting in and of itself as well. But apart from all of that, another reason I think a lot of people are starting to get more excited about Guilty Gear Strive is the fact that we're finally getting out of that awkward early stage of a game transitioning into being something completely completely new. I actually did a video on this channel about how Guilty Gear was changing and a lot of people had those similar thoughts that the game was definitely taking steps away from stuff it used to do in previous entries. So obviously with that comes a lot of longtime fans being worried, scared, disappointed, stuff like that. But of course, as time goes on, people are going to get more used to seeing that new stuff. And of course, let's not put this lightly, the, the developers have put in a lot of effort to change some things that people had critiques about. In fact, the game overall looks a lot faster now. The UI is definitely a lot cleaner than before, even if I do have some minor gripes with it. But overall, they've taken nothing but steps forward in terms of making this game really great, which of course, I had no doubt that they were able to do that. This is the same company that made Dragon Ball Fighters, which in my opinion is one of the best fighting games of all time when it comes to being able to introduce itself to a casual audience and then also have a pretty deep layer of tech and knowledge and stuff like that you can obtain through training, watching guides, stuff like that, etc., etc. So I was never really worried about them struggling to make Guilty Gear Strive a casual but engaging experience experience for players of all skill levels. Now, of course, I still do have minor gripes with things that they've announced that is still going to be in the game, such as the floor system replacing a traditional ranked mode. I still do really believe that people would just rather have a normal ranked match system, especially with the chance that Guilty Gear can be even more popular than ever before over here in the West. I think a normal ranked system would just be really nice to see. But other than that, I think they might have addressed all of my concerns, to be honest. <laughs> now, of course, going back to the stuff that made me so excited to do this video as well is the fact that we also got to see some of the new characters go at it. Of course, we didn't get to see all of them, but characters like Giovanna and Yuki, really for me, this was almost my first look at seeing how these characters would operate in a real game scenario. And they both look really great. Giovanna, for example, looks like an absolute pressure monster. Kai was really struggling to get away from some of this stuff. I also just really liked the design of the character as well. And as for Yuki, he had some insane combos as well, but it was also really interesting seeing some of the drawbacks of his mask system. I don't entirely get how it works, but Soul was able to get a huge punish for the game because of the negative penalty he suffered and the pause he had to go through because of one of his system mechanics. What's even more exciting though is the fact that very soon we're going to get the chance to actually try out all of these new characters, all of the additions to the new build because Guilty Gear Strive is officially having its first open beta very soon. I believe it's happening from the 19th of February to the 21st. And it's mostly crazy to me because three years ago, this channel started with the open beta for Dragon Ball Fighters. Now it feels like time's passed so quickly. We're three years on and now we're on the open beta for 
Guilty Gear Strive. But of course, this beta is shaping up to be in a better state than the Dragon Ball Fighters one for multiple reasons, including, but not limited to the fact that the beta is also going to give us access to versus mode, tutorial mode, trading mode, online play. It's actually insane how much they are going all out for this open beta. And of course, once again, bringing up fighters, I think Arxis finally learned their lesson because if you play fighters, what is the one thing you would probably change about the game? For most people, it's probably going to be the online play or the net code. For a lot of people, it just isn't good enough, but Guilty Gear has actually taken steps to address that as well and has now moved on to having rollback net code, which of course this beta will feature. If you aren't super knowledgeable on how net code for fighting game works, basically the easy way to do it is good rollback is the best way to go about doing it. It makes it so playing fighting games across large distances with your opponent is a lot easier and more smooth and closer to an offline experience. Now, I should also mention that there has been bad rollback net code in the past, so this beta is also going to be a great way to test that, but I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt for now. So what do you guys think? Will you be participating in this Guilty Gear Strive open beta? What do you think of the game so far? Are you a fighters player? Are you excited to see Arxis stepping up and doing new things? I should also probably mention right now that just because they're also doing Guilty Gear Strive doesn't mean they're canceling Dragon Ball Fighters or moving on from Dragon Ball Fighters. That is not necessarily the case. We will still get the update for Dragon Ball Fighters, the Gogeta character, stuff like that. Guilty Gear Strive is also just another game they're putting out and are going to run alongside of it, if that makes sense. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on everything we talked about in this video. I am just so excited. This video was kind of just a way for me to, uh, I don't know. I just, I was so excited. I had to talk about it uh, in some form. So I just thought making a video on it would be the best way to do that. But again, if you are excited and want to see some more Guilty Gear content on the channel, definitely make sure to go down below, leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of that. And of course you could check out other videos that should be on your screen right now. Other than that, I've been Dr. Doya and I will see you in the next one.